Say What You Mean, A Mindful Approach to Nonviolent Communication by Oren J. Sofer is a guide that combines mindfulness with the principles of nonviolent communication, NVC, as conceived by Marshall Rosenberg. It provides readers with tools to enhance their communication skills with the aim of building more meaningful and compassionate interactions. The book starts by acknowledging that communication is a fundamental aspect of human life, and it has a profound impact on our relationships and society. However, many of us struggle to communicate in a way that conveys our true intentions without causing misunderstanding or conflict. Sofer proposes that by incorporating mindfulness and NVC into our everyday interactions, we can transform our conversations and connections with others. Mindfulness, as Sofer discusses, is the practice of being consciously present with one's experience in a non-judgmental way. By being mindful, we become more aware of our own thoughts, feelings, and reactions during conversations, which gives us the necessary space to choose how we respond. Through mindfulness, we can recognize when we're triggered and prevent reactive and harmful communication patterns. The author then introduces the foundations of nonviolent communication, which involves expressing ourselves with honesty and clarity, while also listening to others with empathy and understanding. NVC encourages us to identify and express our own needs without blame or judgment, and to listen to others with an open heart. Sofer outlines three core elements of effective communication. One, lead with presence. The author argues that the quality of our presence determines the quality of our communication. Being fully present in a conversation means actively listening, being aware of our body language, and showing genuine interest in the other person's perspective. Two, cultivate intention. Before entering into any conversation, it's important to set an intention. What do we hope to achieve through this interaction? The essence here is to be clear about our goals and to ensure they align with our values and larger life intentions. 3. Develop mindful speech. It's essential to pay attention to what we say and how we say it. Sofer recommends speaking in a way that is clear, truthful, and kind. This involves being mindful of our tone, the words we choose, and the impact they may have. Sofer elaborates on the importance of self-awareness in communication. By observing our internal dialogue and the stories we tell ourselves, we can better understand our own emotional responses and reduce the likelihood of projecting our issues onto others. This self-awareness also aids in breaking down our assumptions and biases that can distort our perception of what others are saying. A significant portion of the book deals with learning to listen. Listening mindfully means aiming to understand the speaker's perspective, even when it differs from our own. Sofer teaches how to listen empathetically, putting aside our own reactions and judgments to give the speaker our full attention. This creates a safe space for others to express themselves and can lead to deeper understanding and connection. Furthermore, Sofer introduces specific techniques for expressing oneself authentically and for navigating difficult conversations. He suggests pausing before responding to collect our thoughts, asking for clarification to avoid misunderstandings, and expressing our own needs and feelings without attacking the other person. Recognizing that conflict is a natural part of human relationships, Sofer offers strategies for approaching disagreements with a mindset that seeks mutual understanding instead of victory. The idea of having a learning conversation is also presented, which contrasts with the debate mindset that many people adopt in conflict. A learning conversation is one where both parties are open to learning about each other's viewpoints and experiences, rather than trying to prove a point or persuade the other. Throughout the book, Sofer weaves in exercises and practical applications that help readers integrate the concepts into their everyday life. He encourages practicing with small, non-contentious conversations before moving into more challenging discussions. The exercises range from meditations to enhance presence to reflection questions that facilitate self-inquiry in the context of communication. One of the central messages of the book is the transformative power of empathy, both in giving and receiving. Sofer emphasizes that when we truly empathize with another, it allows for a shift in our own hearts and minds. It enables us to humanize those we communicate with and fosters a profound sense of connection and peace. 
Sofer does not simply present a utopian view where every conversation goes smoothly. He acknowledges the challenges and messiness of human communication. He addresses how to deal with strong emotions, both in ourselves and others, and how to return to mindfulness and NVC principles when we veer off course. The practice, as portrayed in the book, is an ongoing journey rather than a fixed destination. In the latter part of the book, Sofer examines the broader implications of mindful communication. He encourages readers to recognize the impact of their words and actions on the collective consciousness and the world at large. By engaging in more thoughtful and compassionate communication, we contribute to a more empathetic society. As the book concludes, Sofer reiterates that effective communication requires consistent practice and self-reflection. By cultivating mindfulness, clarifying our intentions, and practicing nonviolent communication, we can all become more skillful communicators, deepening our relationships, and creating a more peaceful world. In Say What You Mean, Oren J. Sofer presents a compelling and accessible path toward improved communication, offering readers a melding of ancient wisdom with practical, modern-day applications. Through mindfulness and NVC, we learn not only to communicate more effectively, but also to live with greater awareness and empathy. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.